The JoLynn Braley Show, Episode 69. Get Real, Episode Number 16. The Hardest Part of Losing Weight. Welcome. This is JoLynn Braley, weight loss mindset expert, founder of the Inner Self Diet, and this is the JoLynn Braley Show. Join me on today's show as I go beyond the food, which is what you've always thought was your biggest problem that has contributed to your overweight. Go beyond the exercise, which is the other thing that you've always thought has been the biggest reason why you're overweight. And go to the real issue. What is the real issue? The real issue is your mindset. You see, it's your mindset that either makes weight loss feel like impossible, or it makes weight loss feel like a fun game and something that is enjoyable because you're already living as the healthy, fit, slender person who would be living in the body of your dreams. Because as we all know, there's no magic to weight loss. There's no magic pill. There's no injection. There's no lizard spit. There's actually, that's something that was a weight loss gimmick, lizard spit for weight loss. You can read about it on my site at fearlessfatloss.com. And there's just nothing, there's no magic out there. What it takes to release the fat and keep it off is a healthy lifestyle. That's it. Day in, day out, living healthy, living fit, having the positive momentum, moving towards your ideal body, and then once you are in your ideal body, continuing your positive momentum to maintain your ideal body, That's the whole magic to having the body of your dreams. 10% of it is about how you eat and exercise. That 10% is important. It's much easier to live in a healthy, fit, slender body when you're feeding your body clean fuel, when you're getting regular exercise. But those are all things that are part of living a healthy lifestyle. And since... That's the only answer to dropping the fat and keeping it off is a healthy lifestyle. Why is it that everybody isn't doing it? Why is it that 95% of dieters fail? Why is it that you have purchased so many diet books and healthy lifestyle plans, but you're still struggling with your weight? Why is it that you can know everything that you need to do, but you still do the opposite and you gain more weight or you maintain your overweight body that you already have? Why is it that you just don't do the things that you know how to do and just simply live a healthy lifestyle? Well, if you're not doing what you already know how to do to live healthy and fit, that right there is your proof that you have a mindset issue. Mindset is 90% of the game. There are millions of people on the planet who would love to live in a fit, healthy, slender, sexy body. But they're not willing or they're not able to do the things that will give them that body. Same thing as there are millions of people who would love to have a, a rich, healthy, abundant lifestyle. Abundance, not only financially, but also feeling an abundance of time, joy, energy, beauty, fun, all of those things. But they're not willing or they're not able to do the things that will give them those results. And when I say they're not able to, 
it's very, very difficult to do what you need to do to get the results you want when you don't have the mindset that matches the results you want. You need to have the mindset right now that matches the person who you're trying to become who would live in the body that you want to live in. If you never get that mindset while you're still overweight, you're always going to have a struggle with the fat. If you're fat on the inside, you will have to be fat on the outside. If you ever do the inner self work, which is the exclusive work that I do with my exceptional coaching clients in the inner self diet, that is my exclusive coaching program where I work with just a few people at a time and heal the root of their ongoing food and weight struggles. If you ever do that work, then you'll get a weight loss mindset now while you're in your overweight body and then it's going to make it super easy for you to do the physical things. I'm not trying to say this in such a simple way because I think you don't understand. I'm simply reinforcing the fact that weight loss really is simple. You live a healthy lifestyle the fat will come off and stay off a healthy lifestyle does not include emotional eating binge eating stuffing yourself eating late at night eating for all kinds of reasons besides physical hunger that's not part of a healthy lifestyle so once again what makes it very easy to live a healthy lifestyle is your mindset and if you're serious about achieving such a mindset so that you can finally have fun and make it easy to drop the fat and keep it off, then the answer, the solution, the proven system that will give you the results of struggle-free permanent weight loss is the inner self diet. And there is no open enrollment for the inner self diet. It is an exclusive coaching program. It's not a fit for everyone. And you do get to apply and find out if it's a fit or not. And the place to apply for struggle-free, permanent success with your weight by getting a weight loss mindset, which is 90% of your challenge, the place to apply for that is at fearlessfatloss.com forward slash call, C-A-L-L. Now today's topic is the hardest part of losing weight. And this is also Get Real episode number 16 of the JoLynn Braley Show. Get Real episodes are intended to be even more hard-hitting and eye-opening for you so that you get off your frickin' excuses and your continued habit of thinking that you don't deserve to have help, that you don't deserve to achieve full success in your life, including your weight, get off all of that and finally realize that what you've been doing has not been working. Because if what you had been doing had been working and what you want are the results of struggle-free, permanent success with your weight, then why would you be listening to this podcast right now? Wouldn't you be out there living your life, feeling fantastic, feeling great in your own skin, feeling wonderful about you, no longer comparing yourself to other people, feeling fantastic about you, proud of yourself, accomplished, and living in the body of your dreams? If what you have been doing is not giving you those results and you want those results, then it's time to get real with yourself because the time is ticking. There is no time in the future to wait to finally make a core transformation and get what you want. We're already here in, uh, what is today, April 24th. We're almost halfway through the year already. And if you're like most people, it seems like 
Yesterday was just January 1st when you made another New Year's resolution to lose weight, and then it lasted for maybe two weeks. So Get Real episodes are for the benefit of helping you to really get real with yourself. Not get real with anyone else, but only get real with yourself because you're the only one who can choose who you're going to be six months from now. And I guarantee that if you keep doing what you're doing right now, the you that you're going to be six months from now is the same you that's listening to me at this moment. Now, if you like who you are right now and you're thrilled with your body and you're thrilled with how you're treating yourself and how you think about yourself and what you tell yourself and you're always on your side, you're, you're totally there for you and you're doing everything that you can do to succeed in your life, not just with your body, but in all areas. And why do I keep addressing your entire life? Because the reasons that you're overweight, those are life issues. It's not just about the food and the exercise or the fat. So if you're happy with where you are right now, great. Keep doing exactly what you're doing. And I suggest that you get off of this podcast and get out there and just keep living your life. Keep doing what you're doing if it's giving you the results you want. If what you are doing and what you have been doing continues to give you the results that you don't like and you're not happy with your body and you're fed up with yo-yo dieting and you wish you could stop binge eating and you wish that you could stop being obsessed with food and feeling bad about yourself and continuing to go up and down on the scale and just never getting to that place where you feel good about you, where you feel good enough, then you're either going to make a decision to make a core change right now or you're going to make a decision to just keep doing what you're doing or maybe do the thing that I told myself for about 20 years that I could figure it out on my own and that never got me anywhere. Well, it got me continuing to get the same results over and over again, but that's about it. So, looking at this topic of the hardest part of losing weight, you might think that you know what it is. You might think that it's about the food. You might think it's about your fat. You might think it's about the fact that you don't exercise regularly. Maybe you exercise once every week or once every five weeks, which you know that that's not going to really cut it for having having the body you want because that's not enough for the healthy, what, what would qualify as a healthy lifestyle. Now, what I say, and also based on my experience and my training, the fact that I am a certified master NLP practitioner and certified professional coach, and the fact that I also have been where you are, I know what it's like to struggle with your weight, but especially because I understand how the brain works and how you work on the inside in general. I don't know you personally unless you're a client that I work with. But um, with taking all of this into consideration and also the training that I have in understanding how the laws of this universe work, here's what the hardest part of losing weight is. The hardest part of losing weight is the fact that you pay more attention to where you are right now and you continue to reinforce where you are now as opposed to learning how to focus on where you want to be and staying focused on where you want to be and building positive healthy momentum towards where you want to be continuing that momentum towards where you want to be and going 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 until you reach where you want to be and then going 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 to maintain where you then are what most people do is they get on the scale and I, I've even had clients who were weighing themselves two three four times a day before we work together some people weigh themselves every day 
Maybe you weigh yourself in the morning and at night. What you're doing, if you're doing that, is you're just placing a major, huge ass amount of focus on where you are right now, and you're reinforcing the number on the scale. That's what you're doing to yourself. It's very hard then, it's very, very hard to move beyond that. And this is what the hardest part of losing weight is. You, you, you're you overweight. You're 25, 50, 100 pounds, 200 pounds, however many pounds overweight. And you identify with your overweight. You reinforce your overweight. You talk about your overweight. You're always looking for diets for your overweight. There's not a whole lot of action, though, that's going on to move you towards where you want to be, you're not living the lifestyle that the thin, slender, fit, healthy, sexy you would be living right now if you were already that fit, slender, healthy, sexy you. And then since you have so much focus on where you are, you just get frustrated and fed up and say, well, why don't I just go eat that box of cupcakes because I'm already overweight, I'm already fat, I'm already I'm already a loser. Whatever these things are, the negative things are that you tell yourself. And I'll just go eat that box of cupcakes and then tomorrow maybe I'll change or why don't I start again on Monday and maybe eventually I'll get to where I want to be. And this is a pattern that goes on every week, every month. It turns into a year, it turns into five years, ten years. And then you look back, and if you were to count out, let's say that you were to only release one pound each week, and there's 52 weeks in a year. If you're 50 pounds or more overweight, one year from now, you could be 50 pounds lighter if you were to only release one pound each week. That also means that Right now, you could be 52 pounds lighter than you were one year ago if you had only released one pound each week. That's being ultra-conservative. But when you don't have the focus and you don't have the self-image, you don't have the inner self that, that is already fit, slender, and healthy, and sexy and awesome, and and all those things that you want to be, all the things that you think that you would be if you were in the body that you say you'd want to be in, that you'd like to be in. When you're fat now, you're fat on the inside, and the inner and the outer always match. So it's just an ongoing continuum of the same old thing over and over and over and over. It's a reinforcement every day, every hour, every minute of I am fat, I'm overweight, it's too hard for me to lose weight, I can't change, and it it just keeps going. That's the hardest part of losing weight. To make it in simple terms, you're too focused on where you are, and you don't have enough focus on where you want to be. And those are all symptoms of an FAT mindset. And that is a mindset grounded in fear, attracting thoughts. And that's a mindset that matches an overweight body and an overweight lifestyle. Again, the inner and the outer always match. This is why there are so many people, maybe just like you, who have, who have, you know, you have dropped weight before. You have lost 10, 20, 50 or more pounds. But because you did you did not become the thin you on the inside. You never did that work. You have to always rubber band back. You have to go back to your fat self. If you're fat on the inside, you have to become that again on the outside. And the way most people do it, just like you, is you think that, oh, well, I'll just lose the weight, though. I'll make myself drop this fat. I'll make myself lose weight. And then I'll do the inner work. Then I'll somehow change myself so that I'll become fit or fit and thin and slender on the inside so that then I can stay that way on the outside. 
Well, if that had worked for you, then why would you still be struggling with your fat? Why would you still be why would you be listening to me right now? So that doesn't work, does it? And isn't it clear why 95% of dieters fail? All you're trying to do is attack only the physical. You're not doing anything with the mindset. Or if you are, you might be addressing 10% mindset, but 90% of your focus is on the physical, which is totally backwards if you ever want to achieve permanent weight loss. So questions to ask yourself today. On every episode of the JoLynn Braley Show, I give you some questions you can ask yourself. I highly recommend that you write them down, pen on paper. If you don't, hey, that's up to you. This is a totally free podcast, and of course you're not going to get core transformation out of a free podcast because that does require two-way communication with a highly skilled mentor and coach. But you could still get some awesome stuff, awesome paradigm shifts out of this podcast if you just take the action of getting out a pen and a paper and writing these questions down that I'm about to give you and then write down your answers. It's much, much more powerful than just listening to my voice. So the number one question What exactly am I doing right now to live the healthy lifestyle that matches the body I say I want? What exactly am I doing right now to live the healthy bo- healthy lifestyle that matches the body I say I want? Number two, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being extremely easy, 1 being it feels like I am slogging through mud and I can't even pick up my feet. How easy is it for me to live a healthy lifestyle today? On a scale of 1 to 10, how easy is it for me to live a healthy lifestyle today? And question number three, and of course at any time you could pause this and take more time for yourself. Question number three, how much more time do I have to spend in the struggle before I admit to myself that I need help? Exactly how much more time do I need to spend in the struggle before I admit to myself that I need help? And that could be maybe you need to spend another year, another five years, another ten years struggling trying to bang it out on your own before you admit you need help. Write down whatever your answer is. There's no right or wrong. And then with that third question, notice that what that does mean is that the longer you continue to struggle on your own, or the longer you the longer you put off getting the help that would give you the release from the struggle in a very short amount of time, that means that all that time that you're struggling, or all that time that you're putting off getting the help and allowing yourself help, that that means that all that time you're still struggling. I hope that makes sense. Um, the quickest and easiest way to get to where you want to be is to hire a professional mentor and coach to help you get unstuck from the muckmire you're in, to help you move forward. It's very difficult to be objective with your own stuff because you live in it. And especially this problem with the weight, it's actually easier to teach a person how to become a millionaire than it is to teach someone how to achieve permanent weight loss. And the reason is because you carry that body with you everywhere you go. You can't just take it off. You can't park it on the curb and... Leave it there for five minutes even while you go on about your day. It's always with you. And again, then that is also reinforcing the fact, you know, that you're overweight, that you are 100 pounds overweight or 50 pounds overweight or 28 pounds overweight or whatever it is. And then that just continues to grow. It can, whatever you focus on the most is what you will have the most experience of in your life. 
So I hope that you did write those questions down and answer them for yourself because this, again, this is Get Real episode number 16. There's no tomorrow. There's no tomorrow coming. And it, it, it might sound harsh, but if you can get this, it's really going to help you. Nobody is coming to save you. There's no one out there. No one. Nobody is coming to save you. No one is riding in on a white horse. There's no magical diet that's suddenly going to appear. There's no person. There's nobody who's coming to save you. I don't save my clients. I guide them. I mentor them. I give them the steps. I do do awesome core transformation exercises with them in the moment, in real time, and then they get a shift immediately. But even with those, they have to participate. They have to follow my instructions, follow the steps. I can't make them change. I don't save anyone. I teach my exceptional, awesome coaching clients how to save themselves. And in order to save yourself, yes, you do need to have steps. You do need, do need to have a proven system to follow. Otherwise, if you already knew how to do it, you'd be doing it, right? So you do need to have a plan for your mindset, which is 90% of your challenge. But even with that being said, no one's, no one's coming to save you. It's up to you. It's up to you to make a decision that you deserve better. And it's up to you to look yourself in the mirror and say, Hey, I deserve better. I deserve help. I deserve to achieve and have struggle-free permanent weight loss. I deserve to feel what it feels like to no longer be afraid of food. I mean, what is that like to live in fear of food and always be afraid that if I eat this, I'm going to get fat or I'm going to gain even more weight or I'm going to fall into a black hole of binge eating for the next 10 days if I eat this one thing. And what kind of a way is that to live? Let's take a quick commercial break now, and then we will wrap up the show. And today's sponsor of the Joe Lynn Braley Show is 31 Days of Loving Yourself Thin.com. You can go to 31 Days of Loving Yourself Thin.com and find out more about an online course that I put together, give you really awesome tools and steps that you can do each day, simple steps for 31 days, there's something different each day, and enable yourself to love yourself thin. And you can find out more about that at 31 days of loving yourself thin.com. Okay, so shout outs. How do you get a shout out from me on the JoLynn Braley Show? Simply go to the JoLynnBraleyShow.com. You will then find yourself on our Facebook page, the Facebook page for the show. Click like. You'll get a shout out on an, a shout out on an upcoming episode, and we only use first names. Let's take, take a look at what you learned today. What you learned today is that your mindset is 90% of the game. If you ever want to achieve, if you're ever serious about achieving struggle-free permanent success with your weight, not just talking about it, not just wishing about it, not just listening to all 69 episodes of the JoLynn Braley Show and wondering about it and hoping that one day, maybe someday, you will do something to make some changes. But if you're really serious about achieving struggle-free permanent success with your weight, you learn today that mindset is 90% of the game. Mindset is what makes it easy to live the healthy lifestyle. Even if you've been living a junk food binge eating, emotional eating, boredom eating, late night stuffing, Sunday night, last supper eating, self-sabotaging, yo-yo dieting lifestyle for the past 30, 40, or 50 years. Is it going to be easy for you to change all of that and do it all in five minutes? No, you're not going to do it all in five minutes. 
and it does yes it does take work to get a weight loss mindset Henry Ford has an awesome quote something he said was that thinking is the hardest thing to do or maybe he said thinking is one of the hardest things to do that is why so few people do it it's a lot easier to just keep looking at what you've got in front of you keep looking at the weight that you are now keep feeling bad about it keep beating yourself up about it and keep overeating about it it is easier to do that and those are all symptoms of an FAT mindset all of that can be changed it is all behavior you don't have to live like that and also it doesn't mean that you're a bad person or that there's something or that there's something wrong with you because of how you live and how you think and how you act today and how you have been acting for all of your years it means what it means is that you're programmed in a certain way that has you doing the things you're doing now but if you never do the work with your inner self to reprogram your inner self to get a weight loss mindset to make weight loss easy for yourself to break out of the struggle that you're in right now then it's just going to continue being a struggle and it's not my rule it's not my thing I made up it's just how it is what you have on the outside is what you are on the inside and I've worked with many clients who thought when they first came to me that they were these positive happy people and then they quickly learned when they started working on their inner self that what they had been doing was pasting a smiley face on top of all of the heavy sad angry depressed frustrated feelings that were all underneath the smiley face and it doesn't work to put that smiley face on top of where you are but actually now I've started talking about something that I didn't even talk about on the episode today and I was meant I was meaning to just cover what you learned today so there you got an extra little bonus and um, what else did you learn today you learned that you've got to get real with yourself if you ever want to make progress and move forward you know it is not enough to just sit there and think about things thinking about things is a decision to continue living the same way that you are right now now again if you like your cir- your circumstances if you like your body if you like everything you've got going on right now then by all means focus on where you are and that will get bigger and keep thinking about where you are and that will get bigger but if you're not happy with where you are if you're not happy with your body if you know you need to make a change the more you focus on where you are now you're just gonna create more of it so you have to get real with yourself to make a decision that enough is enough and that you you gotta do something different otherwise what are you gonna do where are you gonna be a year from now you know what what the heck are you up to it, it, you know it, it's all it's all a decision you also learned today that there's no magic to weight loss it's all about living a healthy lifestyle you're not going to be sitting on a couch eating brownies all day and expect to have the body that you want to have it doesn't work like that be sure and go over to the JolynBraleyShow.com. click like to like our Facebook page you will get a shout out from me on an upcoming episode and also If you're not subscribed in iTunes already, it's free to do that. It's super easy. And after you subscribe in iTunes, go ahead and give the show a five-star rating and give us a five-star review while you're at it. Share your biggest aha from this show. We would love to read about that. On next week's episode, 
The topic is your weight loss momentum. This is JoLynn Braley, weight loss mindset expert, founder of the Inner Self Diet, and you have been listening to the JoLynn Braley Show. Head on over to fearlessfatloss.com to learn more. You can grab my free five-day e-course while you're there. It will help you answer the question, is your mindset fit or FAT, and help you discover what's really been stopping you from losing weight for good and what to do about it. Here's to your best life in your ideal body.